The Investor Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAG, has suspended its industrial action temporarily. This followed an emergency meeting by UTAG's National Executive Committee on Monday to evaluate their ongoing strike. Prior to this, meetings had, were held between the leadership of UTAG, Parliament's Education Committee, the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, the Education Minister and the Labour Minister last week had ended inconclusively. Here are excerpts of the statement released after the meeting. Now, it says a National Executive Committee of UTAG uh, held an emergency meeting today, 21st February, at the University of Professional Studies to deliberate on the way forward regarding the withdrawal of teaching and related services on the various campuses. At the end of the meeting, NEC of UTAG resolved as follows, that UTAG should heed to the advice of eminent leaders, the Select Committee on Education, and the court ruling to suspend our strike action up to 4th March to engage with government that in line with the bylaws of utag the general membership must be informed for ratification or otherwise of the decision to suspend our strike action we wish to inform members that a roadmap for the negotiation between government and utag has been agreed the employer has committed to improving the conditions of service of utag members negotiations will commence in earnest and completed within the agreed period and the outcome communicated to members. And following from these, UTAG members are kindly informed of the decision of NEC to temporarily suspend our strike action for the stated period and to engage with government. Meanwhile, the legal processes on the legality or otherwise of our strike action pending before the court will continue its logical to its logical conclusion. The NEC of Utah counts on the support of all members as we work to secure improved conditions of service for university teachers and is signed by Professor Solomon Nuno, who is national president, and Dr. Asari Asante Ano, who is national secretary. Let's go live to the University of Cape Coast and speak with our central regional correspondent, Kwejo Nyako. Kwejo, uh, what more can you tell us about the suspension of the strike? Are the teachers back on campus? Aisha, what I can tell you is that the campus of the University of Cape Coast is still deserted. The students went home, and so they were hoping to be greeted with the news that their lecturers were returning uh, back uh, to the classroom. But um, because the news came rather late, uh, it is anticipated that today we will be seeing a lot of the students on campus so that lectures could begin. I've been to a number of the lecture theaters, and there are no lectures that are currently going. So uh, they are yet to get the news properly uh, communicated to them, then they would know that the electorate have indeed called off the strike. So academic activities would begin. But as it stands now, the campus is, um, a lot of them have not even come to campus after registration. They've not been there. They were in the house hoping that uh, UTAC would um, call off their strike and then they come back to campus. So at the University of Cape Coast, I can tell you that with the number of rounds that I have made, to a number of the lecture theaters, um, academic activities are yet to start. I do not know what, maybe if there is a special announcement that is going to be made by the University of Cape Coast branch of UTAC for lect uh, lectures to start. But as, is, as I speak with you now, there is nothing, uh, nothing has changed actually. Mm. So how are the students taking this? Well, so they are excited, but they are also, um, hoping that government will sit down with the university teachers association to iron out their issues because they do not want this thing to recur uh, you know this is a, a temporary um i mean um suspension of the strike and so if things do not work um, there is a likelihood that the, the the strike might also um come again and so they are hoping that government would uh, sit with the university lecturers to iron out their differences uh, permanently so that this thing would not affect that they've been in the house uh, for the past or they've been on campus without lecturers for the past seven weeks and they say that it's going to affect them very, very well. Um, and they are really brooding on the fact that they will be rushing them through the topics and it may affect the quality and the, the stress would rather be on them. And so they are calling on government to sit down with them and then get the issues resolved. I mean, so, Kwejo, what does uh, suspending the uh, strike temporarily mean? Have the executives of UTAG explained what that means? 
Well, so uh, there is um, a moratorium within which, I mean, the, the measures, the roadmap that they have stated, um, the agreement they had, and so until those things are done, maybe they might think of going back. And so it's a, a temporary suspension of that, um, pending the issues that they have all agreed with to put in place in order to ensure that both parties are happy. And so it, it hasn't, it, it's not something that they have thought of. Uh, permanently, but it could it could resurface based on the outcome of the negotiations that would come. Kweja Nyako is our correspondent in the central region. He's been uh, bringing us up to speed as to what's happening at the University of Cape Coast. Let's go to the University of uh, Science and Technology in Kumasi and hear some views from there. The question um, is the question. You talk as code of the strike. What's your position? Has that strike affected you? What's your position now? Yeah, the strike, the strike has affected me, me personally, because I'm in final year, and final year we do projects and stuff. Due to the strike, sometimes you call your supervisors and they will tell you they are on strike. You need some assistance with your project and you won't get it anyway. Sometimes, though, you have to research and stuff to get assistance for your projects. The best assistance can come from your. Let the question. Mm -hmm. can start. Okay, so actually, for me, I came to campus the very first day that continuous students were supposed to come, and it was like we didn't know what to do, like anything to do on campus, just staying on campus and waiting for the um, the strike to be called off. We can now speak with uh, Dr. Samuel Nkoban, who is the president of the University of Ghana chapter of UTAC, for more on this one. I'm grateful for your time, Mr. Nkoban. What did it take to reverse your decision? Well, thank you very much. Um, we had a very extensive uh, meeting yesterday. Uh, of course, MEC is comprising of uh, 15 campuses of four executives each, and so it's a huge number with diverse ideas and diverse uh, views regarding the situation. Uh, ultimately, we arrived at some uh, talking points which the National Executive Committee would be addressing the press at about 11, 11.30 uh, at the GIJ campus to detail these up. And that is from when we can uh, begin to digest and to uh, engage the specific conversations that were had at the next meeting. And so for now, uh, it's just uh, we'll have to hold our peace until that official uh, announcement is made at the press conference of the notification. Now, uh, if you say that you've suspended temporarily, what does that mean? Well, by our constitution, if you were to, if the National Executive Committee takes the decision to suspend, it is advisory to membership. And so um, it's more like advising general membership that based on some circumstances, let's suspend the, the action. And within the next five days, we have a responsibility as executives to engage with our various campuses for them to make a determination ultimately. Mm. Now, our checks this morning shows that the lecturers haven't really gone back to the classrooms. When are you looking forward? Well, of course, I've indicated that there hasn't been a formal communication from uh, the National Executive Committee as yet, and that okay. is why the press conference is later. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is when you can say that uh, NEC has suspended the strike or otherwise. Mm -hmm. Because for now, mm -hmm. there hasn't been a formal communication from NEC as regards the suspension of the action. When are you looking forward to doing that? I've indicated that it's at 11.30 this morning at the GIJ campus. Okay, that's it, at 11.30. So at after 11. that, we can well, see the lecturers. We have later at 11 o'clock. But so what's the instruction? I mean, what time are these, after the communication, are they supposed to go back to the classroom immediately? Well, of course, we have to engage with our management to determine when, when that will happen because uh, you would agree that in some of the campuses, students have left. And if you were to say immediately, it may mean that uh, some might be missing out. So in terms of the practical uh, orientation and observation of things, management would have to make it, uh, take it to it forward. Right, Dr. Samuel Nkoba, and I'm grateful for your time. He's the president of the University of Ghana chapter of Utah.